All right, everybody, welcome to my video. I haven't done one of these in a while, and this is a last minute decision to do this. Uh, I have not shaved, got my dirty hat on from grass cutting, but here we go. I'm going to show you tonight what all we got ending at the auction. I've been so busy at work lately. Uh, I'm trying to get finished with a bunch of projects uh, so I can go to the Green Room Meetup in Austin, Texas in about, what, about eight or nine days, ten days, something like that. So I'm going to go through these right quick, show you what I've got for sale, and show you, tell you where I got them and how much I have in it. So the first one right here in the middle is some Roger Clemens uh, baseball cards. There's a rookie card in there too. Uh, this is from a big lot of cards that I bought for $250 a while back. I've made all my money back, so everything is profit for these. So I've got the Roger Clemens cards here. I've got the next one, some sports card sheets, just some kind of leftovers. I've still got some really good stuff. I've got some 1980 top sets with Ricky Henderson rookies. I've still got a bunch of really, really good stuff. I'm just kind of getting rid of some of the smaller stuff. So these two right here will uh, both be all profit. And let's see, they start ending in three minutes. If you saw my video the other day of the $30, the $30 haul, I called it the wrestling and people kind of laughed at me so I changed it to wrestling but I have been asked to change it back to wrestling so these cars came from the wrestling lot so those they let this at $11 now uh, some more baseball cards from that lot this will be all profit I bought these two cards in Nashville the other day I paid a dollar for these and they haven't done anything but you know, this is the kind of thing, when you do an auction, you can try stuff, and, you know, if it goes four or five bucks, then you make a little bit of money. Uh, Jimmy Choo weekend bag, I got this at the bins, so it still had the tag on it. I looked on eBay, there wasn't a whole lot out there on it, so I put it out here. It's currently at five bucks. I probably got, what, 50 cents in it for, for the weight. Another, uh, the lot right here, this is from the $30 wrestling lot. It's, it's currently at six. These are some PS4 games. They're not worth a lot. I think I've got you know, 50 cents to a dollar a piece in those, so I decided just to bring these up here and let them ride. Uh, the Hot Wheels case and cars, I bought that for five. This is the uh, vintage hair and nail dryer. I paid a dollar for it, and I said, I'm, I'm, I'll take it up there and see what it does. And it hasn't done too much, but I, I'll at least get my money back, plus a little bit. Uh, let's see, the two computer games I bought the other day, just on a whim, and it was a wrong whim. I paid a dollar each for those, so I have two dollars in that. So if it ends right now, I'll lose a little bit, but, you know, win some, you lose some. Nashville Predators, uh, Tennessee tag, I got this at the bins, so... I don't weigh hardly anything. Probably a quarter in that. It's at six. This was in the uh, $30 wrestling lot. It's up to 16 The ghost train sign was in the $30 lot. It's at 11 Fishing reels was in the same lot. It's at 6 And if you watched my video the other day, I had a statue just like this one and another one and it went to eighty dollars and I did not know why but it ends up being it's um, a special piece it's not numbered but it's uh, Austin Productions this one's Earth Wind and Fire statue I found the exact same statue at a yard sale the other day for ten dollars they would not go any cheaper I tried he goes don't you know that's a hundred and fifty dollar piece it's like no I had no idea so anyway I paid ten and it is currently at 15 it's been in a dollar all week and I was like boy that one's gonna suck but anyways it's um, I'm about I guess I've made a little bit of money now but Keurig machine my son got for free down at the University of Alabama so that'll be his money the baby gate I got for a dollar at a yard sale the propane bottle was three dollars at a yard sale so that's 
that's a wash unless it goes up. Uh, the next two here are stuff that my son got, people was throwing away, so that'll be his money. The pet steps were 99 cents at Goodwill, they're up to $10. Uh, oh wow, this jumped up. This was a dollar forty-nine at Goodwill, so it's up to eleven. That mirror is my son's; he got for free. The book here, the Gospels, it was pretty neat. I got this at a yard sale. It slides out and opens up. It has all kind of stuff in it. I've sold a book like that, but it was Alabama. It did really well up there, so I paid a dollar. For this book at a yard sale, took it up there, it's at a dollar. Looks like it's gonna be a, a wash. Uh, this sign right here, the Yellow Hammer, this is a, a brewery in Huntsville. It's in the $30 lot. The golf balls was in the $50 yard sale lot that I bought, so I've made my money back probably 10 times on that one, so this is a freebie. The uh, fishing gear, I paid a dollar a box the other day, so I have $2 in this. And let's see, we're going to be ending here in a minute. So I'm starting up on some of them. These were free. My son got these at Alabama. And Alaska Monopoly game, I paid a dollar. I was thinking that this one had special token pieces because some of these, like Lord of the Rings, different things like that, has the specialty tokens. But this one ended up having just the basic, the dog, the thimble, the cannon, whatever all this got. So I took it up there. We'll let it ride. It's at $2.00. I've got my money back plus a tad. So we'll see what that does. I also have, let's see, let me go back to the top, see how much. Oh, we're already ending. Ow, I missed out. Okay, so the baseball card sold for five and two. The Hot Wheels have jumped up to 14. So that's good. The album is still going, is at six. Oh, Jimmy Choo is up to 12. So that was a good find. That was the Ben's find probably 50 cents or less than that uh, this would end up being a 30 cent loss and the thing about these auctions that if I take stuff up there I'm not buying expensive items to take up there because you never know these I could have took those same cards next week and they may have sold for five or six dollars it just depends on who is logged on you got to have two people that really want those items so you have to be in it cheap. So these cars sold for six. Uh, what, there we go. Uh, the PS4 games are still going. They're at ten. Everything on this one ended the six. That ended at six bucks. A uh, dollar for those. So I'm losing a little bit there. Made a little bit there. Uh, let's see. So this is still going at twelve. That sold for sixteen. So somebody, somebody hit, hit this, this one again. again. It's, it's up to what is this? That's nineteen. 19. Okay, okay, sweet. Curing machines at twelve. So, so we got some, some pretty, pretty good stuff. Let me see if anything, anything else is still going. The steps are still going. That was a dollar forty-nine at Goodwill. And the mirror that my son got. Yeah, I think he got four or five of those mirrors. For free, this is somebody hit it again. This is seven. Monopoly jumped up to four. So I've had some pretty good things. One other thing that I've got, it was a bigger item, so it didn't, it wasn't sitting on jump over to the air right quick. It was a roll of wire. It was also in the $30 lot. Right here, it's the partial roll of a 36-inch tall fence. This guy gets like fencing; it's up to eight dollars. But it's still got almost 18 minutes left in that. So I'll jump back over to the other auctions. So somebody hit the cars again. They're up to 15. So that is good. The cards here are closing at six. So all my cards here, the five, the two, and the six, that's 13. That's all, that's all profit from that uh, card lot that I've already made all my money back in. The PS4 games are now closing at 10. My uh, Austin Productions piece is now at 
So that is good. So at least, let's see, $22.50. So I'm up to probably $15 or $16 now that will come back to me. So 5 or $6 profit. That's a piece that I was just kind of taking a chance on. And like I say, it was at $1 all week long. And I did like how the picture was, was done on this one because if you're not actually reading the title, if I was flipping through here, the first thing I see in this picture is rigid. And this is kind of hiding over here. So it may have took uh, people a little bit to find it, but it looks like at least two people have found it, and that's what it takes, at least two people to uh, start the bidding war. So let's see, I'll come down here. Everything has closed. This is still at 16. And so I think the only thing left going, well, we've got the, the uh, cars up here. They're at 15. So looking at some of the things that was in the $30 lot was, see, 15. There's 21. 21 and 16, see 37 and 49 and 55. So fifty-five dollars just in those was in the thirty dollar lot. I still have a ton. I sold I mentioned this the other day. I sold one of the figures. This was not one of the wrestling figures but it was um, another figure from Dragon Ball Z I don't know if you can see that that one sold for $24.99 that was in the $30 lot so so far I've done fairly well on that lot that was see 25 and pushing $80 and I've still got a whole bunch of stuff back here I did not go to the auction this week to take stuff because of work. So let's see what these end at right here. This one looks like it's probably going to end at $22.50. <clears throat> so I've been real, like I said, I've been busy. I've been trying to list as much as I can. Let's see, the steps closed at $16. Like I said, that was $1.49. At a Goodwill, um, I listed my LOL surprise dolls the other day. The little, the little animals and all the figures. I found a, a gallon sized bag of those for ten dollars. First time I had heard of those. I looked them up on eBay right quick, and it's like, looks like it's going to be pretty good. So I just did one big lot. I sold those for sixty-five. They ended the other day. I ran an auction, started at thirty-nine ninety-nine. So those sold. So I think everything has now um, closed. So the the statue closed at twenty two fifty. So that's not bad. I got my money back plus some. Ten dollars was more than what I wanted to pay for that. But um, hey, sometimes you got to pay up just a little bit. So ten dollars. I rolled ten into sixteen. So. Nothing huge, but it keeps the money rolling. So I think that's uh, that finishes everything up. I'll jump over one more time to the to the wire. I think it was at eight, but we will check. It's at eight. It ends in twelve minutes. That was in the thirty dollar lot, also. So that'll take it up to you know eighty eight, ninety dollars, something like that. So anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Like I say, I've been really busy. Got a lot of stuff planned for this channel. Um, going to make it a kind of an entertaining channel. There, there will be a lot that you can learn in this on this channel, especially from the auction aspect. I plan on doing going to a lot of uh, live auctions, doing some recordings from there, uh, try to buy some really good stuff. When I'm when I'm busy for work, this is this is the best way for me to to keep it rolling because, like I say, I gather all this stuff up, I take it to the auction, I drop it off, and I'm done. They take care of everything. 
they charge 30% uh, fees on this and that's because they have so much work to do. A normal auction would probably be 15% uh, sometimes 20% at a live auction but since they have to create each individual auction take pictures and everything they charge a little more and that's fine but you just have to be in the items at a, at a better price so anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments put it down below if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button I would appreciate that and I will catch you on the next video see you